Hello, friends and not yet friends. Welcome to another What I Eat Wednesday, the show where I share all my delicious vegan eats in a day here on Mary's Test Kitchen. Surprise, surprise, another day, another oatmeal. Yes, it's pretty much exactly the same as last week. Oatmeal, ground flax, blueberries, and a super ripe banana. Don't forget the splashy splash of vanilla soy milk either. I'm not complaining though, this was tasty. But next week, I promise we're gonna have something different. Still delicious, of course. You know what else is delicious and different from what I just had for breakfast? These donuts made by you guys! I mean, you told me they were delicious, so I'ma have to go ahead and believe ya. Plus, also beautiful. But I'm not having donuts today, won't won't. Sad, but not so sad because we're still having some deep fried goodness. On What I Ate Wednesday number 68, I told ya I was gonna make this. So leave it down in the comments below if you know what I'm making. No scrolling down and cheating now. This recipe was kind of a process. I mean, I was gonna make it for dinner, but then I read the recipe again and realized that I was gonna have to marinate this overnight. I was all like, Candace, this better be worth it. Cause I don't like to do things that have steps. You know, the kind of steps that go overnight. All right, so the next day, there's another step. Oh my gosh, guys, by this time, I was so hungry I was gonna eat my face. But like, not really, because ew. So I snacked on a few of these out of the oven because I couldn't help myself. And they were pretty spicy already, so I was a little bit scared, but I'm a spicy food lover, so I tell myself. And Candace has never let me down before, so I pressed on. And by pressed on, I mean I breaded the roasted cauliflower in 11 different secret, not so secret spices and stuff. They're all coated and it's time to boil them alive in hot oil. Except not really because I think I already killed them by roasting. What can I say? I'm okay with cruelty against cauliflower. Down with cauliflower. And by that I mean down the hatch. But not quite yet. After these get cooked up nice and brown, we're gonna drench them in basically everything that's unhealthy. Oil, sugar, oh yeah, I guess those were the only two unhealthy ingredients in the sauce. There's also paprika and cayenne, but those are good for you. Add some bread and butter pickles, and there we have it. Vegan KFC Nashville Hot Chicken Not Chicken. Look at it. Would ya just look at it? Deep fried perfection, and it tastes amazing. But you're asking me, was it worth it? The overnight marinade, the pre-roasting, the three-step dredging process, the three-hour run you're gonna have to do to work off those calories? My friends, the answer is yes. Oh, yes. So make sure you watch that tutorial from the Edgy Veg or get the printable recipe and try this out. Links are in the description below. And if you go over there, make sure you leave a comment and tell Candace I sent ya, because that would be super nice of you. So I'm not gonna tell you how much of that cauliflower I ate in one sitting, but I can tell you that come dinner, I was going for something a bit healthier and a lot less work. So first, let's do greens. To a hot pan, add a bit of water, then some crushed garlic. And then washed and chopped kale and more kale. And soon we have a kale mountain. And cover. Don't be afraid to squash it down. After about 30 seconds, turn the kale over so it can cook on the other side. Because you know what happened one time when I didn't do that. Lid back on. Another 30 seconds or so, and we're gonna add salt in the form of soy sauce. And that's done. Put that aside and you can just rinse out the pan for the fun stuff. I had leftover rice, some vegan chicken shawarma from a lunch recipe that I've been working on for you, onions, and leftover Burmese tofu, AKA chickpea tofu. To me, this obviously means fried rice. So into the pan, a little oil. 
then onions. Gonna cook those over high heat for about one minute, just until they turn fragrant. Then the rice. Leftover rice is ideal for making fried rice because it's a little drier than the fresh cooked stuff, so the grains hold together and don't get mushy. Let that heat through, then make some room for the vegan chicken shawarma and leftover Burmese tofu. By the way, the vegan chicken shawarma recipe is coming up later this week and it's pretty bomb, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already so you don't miss anything. Then I'm adding some garlic powder, onion powder, and soy sauce. Then to finish, some sesame oil. Time to plate. Make it Instagram worthy with some chopped scallion, some toasted sesame seeds, and of course, sriracha. By the way, if you make any of my recipes, make sure you post it to Instagram and tag me at Mary's Test Kitchen so I see it and maybe show it off in a repost or here on What I Ate Wednesday. You know I love seeing your pictures. And that was my food day. How was yours? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already because coming up this week, you know we're gonna have some vegan chicken shawarma plus two other awesome vegan lunches to make your friends at school jealous. Or maybe your coworkers jealous. Or maybe you'll be nice and share. But whatever, it's gonna be your vegan lunch. And there are no rules. Thanks again for watching, friends. Bye for now.